This ape says, it's weird. I keep having the same recurring dream that one or more AMC insiders are quietly buying AMC stock behind the scenes. Might have to look further into this. What could this mean? Comments out below if you think some of the insiders that have the big money, the whales, are buying up AMC behind the scenes, and if we're going to see a report on this very soon. This ape says, helping household investors understand. How can there be a year-long failures to settle trades? The answer is, lax management at the depository and a willingness to look the other way when our self-regulatory organizations and SEC neglect their duty to protect investors. Very, very well said. This ape says Hedge Fund Media, aka Investor Place, and Tip Rings published two sell AMC and one don't buy AMC FUD articles in the last day. This ape then said, I hodled and bought some more instead. Why? Because hedgies, that's why. Who's with me? Like this video down below if you did buy AMC within the last week. The FTD problem has only gotten worse and worse as time has gone on. And this ape said FTDs in the billions. Desperation is eternal. They could have been better people. They could have been honorable. But AMC, apes never leaving, and apes together strong. This ape says a lot of people claiming that CEO Anna Marin is against retail. In my opinion, this guy is putting forth effort that you rarely see from other CEOs. We know there are billions of fraudulent shares circulating. Patience, AMC. So we talked about in a previous video that the most recent FUD campaign is once again spot on to CEO Adam Marin. It truly seems like the short sellers are running out of ammo, running out of negative news articles and FUD to pin against AMC. Because the reality is, is AMC fundamentally, the numbers are looking much, much better than they were just a few quarters ago. Which is obviously exactly what you want when you're invested into a stock. The numbers are increasing, and on top of that, the apes are holding on stronger than ever. This ape says infinite squeeze. They need your shares without your shares. The hedge funds can't close their short positions. Billions of synthetics, allegedly. Liquidation. Transfer of wealth, black swan event, transfer of power. It's inevitable, and it's only a matter of time. Comments on below if you agree. AMC shorts are realizing that bankruptcy is off the table. For a long time now, they've been attacking Adam Marin hard using the illegal manipulative price to try and get the apes to turn. That's their last hope. So division amongst apes. We've seen it before. Just be aware of it. That's all. Very well said. This ape says, keep focused and your eyes on the prize, AMC. And a lot of good vibes in this post. It says the money is coming. The new car is coming. The new home is coming. The breakthrough is coming. The financial freedom is coming. The new business is coming. Comment down below what else is coming ahead for us, because I promise you there's a lot of good things to be excited about. This ape says math isn't math in our corner of the stock market, and it sure doesn't seem like it at times. They said AMC is the first stock in history where 80% of the float is locked, meaning that 80% of the float is owned by retail investors or more. And for the most part, the holders are just continuing to hold their shares. They're not really trading them. For me personally, I haven't sold a single share of AMC that I've owned since I bought my first share years ago. Now on top of that, 40% is on loan, 25% is shorted, and 50% is in fails to deliver. And it's oversold. If you take it all into consideration, this play does seem more and more bizarre by the day. It seems to be that there's some massive manipulation going on, and hopefully only a matter of time until this whole thing gets sorted out. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.